Hello, today you are going to see what happens when you mix a highly explosive metal with a super toxic and carcinogenic liquid like chloroform. The metal we are using is the most explosive metal in the world, which is called cesium. Now you might ask, why on earth would anyone get the idea of mixing chloroform with such an explosive metal? The answer is, because when you are trained as a chemist, you learn that you should never ever mix these two things together. So that's precisely what we are going to do today. Before we start, a big shout out goes to the channel Advanced Tinkering, who prepared the cesium metal for these experiments. You should definitely check him out. He has a rapid growing, highly interesting chemistry channel and I personally enjoy his videos a lot. He will also upload his perspective of these experiments. Now, in the previous video, where I based my hand in another highly explosive metal, I showed how it reacts with carbon tetrachloride. Immediately upon mixing nothing happens, but if you drop it from a high place, like a roof for example, it makes a bang so loud that all the walls are shaking. In my previous video about cesium metal, we learned that it is indeed really really dangerous in mixing it with liquid oxygen for example. That is why we designed an apparatus with that we can pour the cesium metal in the chloroform and in case it doesn't react immediately we can also drop the mixture. Besides the chloroform we also tested two other liquids chemically really similar to chloroform. One is tetrachloromethane and the other dichloromethane. Chloroform can also be called trichloromethane. We started with the dichloromethane, expecting it to be the least reactive, because the cesium wants to bond with the chlorine, so the more chlorine in the liquid, the more reactive it should be. In a previous meeting, we actually tested that reaction with just a few drops of cesium metal, and at first nothing happened. It only reacted violently after dropping. This time we scaled this quite a bit up using more than one milliliter of cesium metal. And again, just as expected, nothing happened immediately upon mixing the two. Upon dropping the mixture, surprisingly, nothing happened again. The fact that it exploded so long after dropping it was again quite surprising. Maybe the hot sand activated it. If you have other ideas, make sure to write them in the comments. Moving to the chloroform, we repeated the reaction with the same amount of cesium. The mixture started smoking and then detonated quite violently. In slow-mo, the reaction still looks incredibly fast. It also dented the steel cup we used as a reaction vessel quite heavily, which shows how violent this reaction actually was. The last solvent we tested was tetrachloromethane, which is infamous for its extreme liver toxicity and ozone depleting potential. That's why it is banned internationally and we are only using small amounts. This time we doubled the amount of cesium metal to 2 milliliters in order to make it even more interesting. The steel cup flew quite far away this time, showing again how dangerous stuff like this can be. As a finale, we decided to repeat the reaction with chloroform, which is less toxic and explodes just as well, but this time with 3 ml of cesium metal. This reaction was so incredibly violent that it tore the steel cup apart. Now you can imagine how dangerous that would be if you were standing close while mixing these kind of reagents. You would be in serious trouble for sure. Anyway, that is it for this video. Make sure to check out the channel Advanced Tinkering and how to make the cesium metal. And thanks a lot for watching.